Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. I am still the uh, the Black Shadow and uh, last time we, we actually managed to deal with our very first terror mission folks at the end of month two. Um, uh, it took place in Paris, we managed to find our way through. Uh, we only had to deal with uh, a handful of enemies as it was, um, being the fact it was such an early mission. Uh, but it wasn't without losses though unfortunately. Uh, we lost our whoops wrong one. We've lost our very first actual named character, if you will. Sorry, Ziggy. I did what I could. And on top of that, we have also lost a couple of nations from XCOM. Mexico and Australia have both. Uh, they both jumped ship, unfortunately, and they are going to work with the aliens, jerks. Um, but. Uh, be honest, I was kind of expecting as much. It's very difficult to hold all 16 nations in. As long as we don't lose 8 nations, the game's not over. So it's not a disaster. Anyways, uh, however, we you guys have some more abductions to deal with, folks. Now, after a little bit of cons considering what I was going to do, we're going to Argentina. Not just because they're offering me so much money, but I do have a game plan to do with this. So, uh, hopefully... This is going to work. Let's clear every single person out. Right, so who do I want for this one? I'd love to get one more rookie through. Really would, but. Alright. You're coming back on, Falconer. It's good to have an assault class back. Let's also get Atkins in. Let's get a. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Get Ravika in. Get Peter in. We've only got one sniper as well, which kind of sucks. So I'll tell you what I'm also going to do. Let's get a, a rookie in. Let's get in. Uh, let's get in Boris here. Boris Kuzentov. Uh, see how you do. Look at you, sir. You look high and mighty and very powerful, sir. Good luck to you. Uh, of course, rookies, as always, are going to get their uh, going to get their loadouts. So they're going to get their scoops. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Happy with that. You, uh... You keep your friend grenade. Might have some use for that. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but uh, it can be useful for just taking out a piece of cover here and there. Prepare for deployment, strike one. I mean, early game against Sectoid, you can kill the ones, but uh, next. The threat there seems yeah, to as be the game most moves pressing. on, not so much. Ooh. You picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. It's an interesting map. On a bridge. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. As you can see, folks, there's only one direction for us to go. So, for that respect, this is going to be pretty, pretty simple. Really wish I had a sniper with me now. But I'm never on mind. Commander. Right, let's get everyone yes, going then. Move I've got a visual. With what we've seen so far, it was only right. natural to okay. assume the aliens would have something specialized towards frontline combat. Why this is she saying the culture oh my appears God. to be that unit? I don't envy anyone who has to go up against that thing. Fuck. Well, this got crazy in a hurry. Oh my god. Fucking mutons. I should have put this game on marathon mode. Fuck me. Aye, aye, Commander. Come get some. Oh, this is bad. 
that this is actually terrible. My hand feels like it's already been forced by fucking mutants. Sweet Jesus. Damn. No way that just happened. This could be a bad turn for us all. Well, good job hitting him, Boris. He has got another seven health points, but uh, well, he got to start somewhere. Oh, he's running away. Fuck! Mother of God, that's bad. Oh, you fucking kidding me? You're about to do this. You're gonna suppress me as well, you fucker! You fucking die! Better there now. Right. Please tell me you can get back there. Get it there now. Don't fuck it. Oh, you can't miss. Kill him. Oh no. Oh boy. Right. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh dear. Moving out. Someone's got a hit, surely. I'm on it, Commander. Just so the uh, the muton can't attack me directly. Now, what the Muton did over there, uh, with the one that ran away, is he used something called Blood Call. Now, uh, Blood Call is an ability that Mutons can use amongst their own race. Uh, units frenzied uh, have bonuses to aim, will, and mobility. All of which are bad. Don't know where the fuck it went, the other one, but you could all go to hell. You can all go straight to hell. You. you also sometimes when Utahs get attacked, they can use the Intimidate, uh, which um, basically attempts to try and panic one of your own your own troops, the one that fired on it. So that can happen. Luckily, this guy has just offered himself up on a silver platter. Not that I'm complaining. It was incredibly kind of you. Right, we need to regroup our forces a bit here. Already there. God, that went badly. That's affirmative. Let's sort ourselves out, folks. Moving out. Right, you reload your gun. It's you that. reload your gun. Good to go. <laughs> And let's just ponder why on earth I'm taking on mutons and a bridge. Because I'm not really fucking sure. I kind of wish I didn't have to. Bad state of affairs, I'm taking on mutons and a bridge. Got it. Roger that. Scanning. Let's do this. Let's do this. I sound like Boris Woot. Let's, let's do this. Rolling out. Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. On my way. Right, okay then, so. Got as my covered. voice is starting to die, as I can tell. Shh. I think I heard something. 
Yes, Commander. Now they're fucking there as well. Oh, my fuckers. The only problem with this one is cover is a bit awkward. There isn't much of it, it's usually not that well placed. Roger, I've got my eyes on Eyes on the prize. So that doesn't really help. Stepping off. Got it covered. Yes, sir. Let's move everyone up. As close as I dare. And I really need to be healing Abraham thinking about it. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You just I'm get over late. there. Overwatch. Aye, aye. We'll get, uh... Oh, you don't have a health kit. Who's got a health kit? You've got a health kit. Get over there and give him a hand. On Overwatch. I feel command I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> Rush this one. Especially if there's mutons around. What I don't want to fight any more of those if I don't have to. Especially not if I'm not ready. Fucking mutons. Yikes. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. Gets worse than them as we go along, but it's still not good to see. Eyes on the prize. I right. feel him covered. Just, 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 just get aye, ready. Aye. We're gonna run on the next turn. We're gonna start moving. I'm all over it. Here they come. Yeah. Bad news, folks. Bad news. Sectoids and floaters. That's a wonderful pair. My fucking Valentine's all over again. Watch the signs. Oh yes, I am actually officially being flanked from there. Just to make things more interesting. Uh... I am very tempted to just hunker down here. Overwatch or something. Don't like those odds particularly, so I'm not Ready gonna out. fire. I can justify. Well, we hit. Just a little unlucky to not actually get a kill there. I'm going to suggest that those five enemies are the last five that we have to fight. That's a bit of a risk to say that, but I can't see there being any more. Which doesn't, doesn't seem very likely to me. Oh, he's jumped, has he? Well, he jumped too. Oh, uh, that's not great. Could have been worse. Well, that's certainly the first thing he's to be dealt with. Now. Go get him, Boris. Oh, you've got to fucking kill him when you do that. For God's sakes. What are you doing, man? I just missed a 93% shot. Oh, oh, oh. That is concerning. When generally, when you miss 90% plus shots, that means someone's gonna die. He's exposed as well. Good heavens. Good to go. Getting it done. Fucking 90%. Don't fucking do this to me, game. Please. 
Where did those sectoids go, folks? They haven't despawned, I assure you. I think I hear some mine merging as well. There's all sorts of deviant shit going on in this one. Target confirmed. On our way. Running. Wait, I will wait. What the hell was that? How many were there? Was it was two of them? Aye, aye, Commander. Just trying to expose them. Fire. Well, I did the job. I exposed them. Cars on fire. fire. Oh shit! You've got a reaction shot as well. Well, somehow I've dodged both. Boris, you. <laughs> How the fuck have you managed that? Not be a good idea. It could be a genius. Oh, he's, he's, he's dead. There was no way we're getting out of that one alive. Heading out. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Might go for this. Fuck it. Dead and we nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. I didn't even get a critical hit there. That's the worst part of it. I didn't even critically hit it. Whew! That is a successful mission, everyone. Rejoice! We're not going to get as many of those uh, going forward in this LP. That is a... Uh, very, very, very useful result. Good grief. Oh, that was bad. Of course, South Africa's panic has uh, maxed out as I knew it would. But I am uh, prepared for this. It will be sorted. Alright, and folks, let's sort everyone out. So, our rookie Boris has become oh, an assault. I kind of wanted a sniper. But we got ourselves uh, another assault class, which is kind of cool. So that'll be another rolling at the end of the video. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be Boris? Ruvika has got ourselves uh, to sergeant. She's a missionary. Field medic. Uh, lieutenant of heavy there. This is not bad. Uh, the lieutenant's uh, abilities uh, for a heavy. Um, you either get heat ammo or rapid reaction. Now, both of these aren't too bad. Heat ammo is an interesting one. Confers 100% damage against robotic enemies, which we will be seeing. And they typically have an absurd amount of health. Or rapid reaction, which will confer a second reactor shot if on Overwatch and the first reaction shot is a hitch. Is a hitch? Is a hit. So. If you're overwatching with a heavy and the first overwatch shot lands, then you'll get a second one. Which can be useful. But I am going to go with the heat ammo for this one. I might give another heavy rapid reaction, but I want one with heat ammo. Don't know when the robotic enemies will kick in, but when they do, I want to be prepared for it. And we've got a lieutenant assault class as well. 
Uh, so the assault classes have a couple of abilities. You can either have flush, uh, which will fire a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover, uh, which the shot is easy to hit with but doesn't do much damage, or rapid fire, which will let you take two shots against a single target in quick succession. Uh, each shot does carry a 50% penalty to aim, but allows you to take a double shot. Both of these are not bad abilities at all. Uh, I'll be honest, both of them are quite useful. But considering that I've got aggression on you, uh, I'm going with rapid fire. Because I've got you on aggression, I might as well combine that up. So let's get rapid fire. Very good. He is wounded as well, which kind of sucks. But we got new research available with the mutons. We can ex we can inspect their corpses. And as you can see that, yep. So we've done all right. Uh, lots of money. Panic Argentina has completely reduced, but Africa and North America panic has increased. We will be in touch, Commander. And this is how we stand. So that's a bad situation. South Africa, as you can see, has maxed out on panic. Uh, Asia's not great either. But I still think my plan can work. So let's sort out our money problem, shall we? So we've got 300 odd credits right now. We are currently building our satellite uplink, which is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and get the rest of our satellites. Satellite so we've got three, so we can capacity. get two more. Additional so let's get two. Required. So we get over here, so we'll build them. Yes, it'll be fine. Now, what I always do is, like I say, I always get these in ones because that way, if I have to cancel a satellite project, it, it, you, can, you can't, like, if you've selected, like, three, you can't say, oh, no, build two. You've got to cancel them all. So, just do them one at a time. Now, what else do I want to do? I want to get the mutons done. Let's get the mutons on our top. This is the most physically aggressive Change specimen research. we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the muton. I can only assume there's a colourful backstory for such a designation. <laughs> um, that means that uh, our research with the uh, what we were doing uh, hasn't like we got to restart it. It carried on for where it is. I just want to get the your topsy done. Is there anything else I want to build? I'm We do need to build some containment. Yeah. Build any containment, folks. We do need it. It needs to be done. Let's build it. Tempted to get the foundry, but I'm not going to. I need the money. I think I'm going to want that for something else. Squad size two, Captain. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. If I'm going to get the containment, though, I might as well buy a couple of arc throwers. So let's buy. Let's get a couple of those. And I'm also going to get. No. That'll be fine. Let's see what happens. Swing through to the end of the music to get the research done. Lovely. This should be good, seeing as my voice is dying a bit. Standing well over two meters tall, the ratio of this subject's lean muscle to the rest of its body mass is staggering. Its bones are highly durable, yet very light in weight, and it seems to lack extra muscular fatty tissue of any kind. There is no part of this subject that has not been genetically engineered for combat. These mutons, a monkey given by the troops, has clearly been bred and modified from birth, with every enhancement contributing to its function as a sort of organic tank. As such, mutons are capable of withdrawing otherworldly amounts of damage and seem to have an incredible tolerance for pain. 
During the autopsy, we also noted a variety of ritualistic markings and unusual tattoos, which implies some sort of past tribal structure among the mutant species. We've also noticed a number of distinct similarities between the genetic structure of the mutant and floater specimens. Although I can only guess as to the alien's intentions, it certainly appears that the floaters may have at one time been mutons themselves. If the aliens have been experimenting with the mutant physiology, perhaps the floaters are a byproduct of their less successful attempts at genetic manipulation. We may be able to gain further insights uh, with uh, looking at that. That's right. Right, let's uh, let's resume the camera, Sarah. Can you see there? It's it's still going. Right, lovely. Let's carry on. Contact detected. Hello. Better fucking shoot this down. Now, bear in mind that, of course, I will need to get in close to this uh, to this one here. Engaging bogey. Well, once it does, we'll be in good shape. Closing on target. Hurry up. Taking heavy fire. So you can see there, that's how it works. Got to get a bit closer, but generally speaking, it's good. I love how it missed the first shot. That was quite funny. But we have taken down another UFO, folks. I want to get the alien containment done. I don't know if it will be done before the UFO crash site expires. I think it will do. Yes. Here we are, folks. This is the alien containment facility. Alien containment facility under so now we will be able to capture any live aliens and we can put them in there. Which is good. Lovely. How much power have we got? 37 to 50. Uh, I better start excavating that and get the next uh, power source um, ready to go. Right then, so that is good, which means that we will be going to that UFO crash site then. Uh, which I believe we're going to be doing next video, actually. Um, because I need to stop talking because my voice is really starting to go here. So, what we're going to do next time, as I say, is we're going to do that. Now, bear in mind the fact that we have now got hold of the containment facility. And we've got a stun weapon. So, what we're going to have to do is attempt to capture a live alien using our, uh, using our, our thingies, folks. Our, our, our arc throwers. Should be interesting, that's for damn sure. Uh, I'm just trying to think as well. Anything I can get rid of the grey market wise? Uh, I can do if I need to, but I'm probably okay for now. So that is what we're going to be doing next time, folks. We're going to be researching. Uh, researching. We're going to be investigating the, uh, the crash site. Uh, we're going to be looking to take what we can, but more importantly, folks, we do need to capture a live alien. That should be fun. I'll see you next time.